a fortune and fame I'd even cut my hair and change my name Cause we all just wanna be big rock Alright, it's Tuesday, True Tuesday So here's some, I guess I sort of have a look into the truth For some I got invited into one of those private groups It's been about uh, 90 seconds in it And then left a couple, uh, left a comment and then left they were hawking some, um, I don't know, shower system? Well, something you could probably buy on Amazon for 80 bucks. Anyway, there are five or six dudes in there, and this is not judgmental, okay? But the, uh, these are the facts. Uh, there are five or six dudes in there that were like, man, tell me what your, what the price is, and I'll, tell me what you'll pay me, and I'll rent it. Which is shocking to me. You're willing to sell your reputation based on no evidence on whether this product is good, bad, or indifferent. And I've had 10,000 conversations with those guys that are like, what do I care? I'm getting paid. And <laughs> if you're willing to treat your trade, whatever that might be, with such disrespect, then it's going to disrespect you. There are so many levels to this trade world and you're selling yourself short by selling your blue call, tarnished blue collar reputation to sell some crap. I don't, I don't understand it. If you don't have your ticket yet, then that's what you need to focus on is getting your ticket or your certification or whatever the hell you call it in the area that you're at. If you have your ticket and you're working for somebody, then you need to be the best, best damn employee that that dude has. The most knowledgeable, the most skillful. And once you've got that, then you need to go to like uh, junior college or whatever, uh, after hours uh, business course and learn how to run a business. Do not take an online course off of Instagram. Don't do it. Go to a legitimate college or university or uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, take a business class. And then get yourself an accountant and a lawyer that you can consider part of your team to fight the world because you're going to need them. And then once you start a business, get really good at one thing. And then get really good at two things, and then three things, and then four things, and then five things, and then six things, and then seven things. And it goes forever. And then you can either do what I'm doing and pass it along as a legacy to my children, or you can sell it for nine million dollars. Whatever you want. The fact that you are selling your reputation for three grand or four grand or whatever is bonkers to me you're selling yourself short and you are not you don't expect like you think that that's respect it's not you're bought and paid for and you're you can only do that for so long until your reputation is in tatters and is tarnished and everybody realizes that you will sell anything for money and that you, what you say means zero zero So again, it's, it's not some judgment, but it fascinates me that everybody talks about this, you know, dirty hands, clean money. And all I see in these groups and with many of these people on Instagram is that it's all clean money and dirty hands. Is what it is. Is what it is. You guys have flipped it. If you would just work in the trade and get better at it and more skillful and open yourself up to more opportunities, you would see the scales would fall off your eyes and you would see what I can see for you. The trade isn't going anywhere. The opportunities are almost endless. And if you think you have some sort of rep uh, in the influencer world, you're going to get replaced by some kind of hot girl 
that can read a script better than you. That, that, those are the facts. Those are the facts. And the, the need for money is never, ever going to go away until the day you die. You need money to grease the wheels of life. It makes things go way smoother, absolutely. But you're investing your time and your reputation in things that will not pay off in the long run. I mean, look at, I don't know, look at the celebrity culture that we live in. Look at the, I mean, who just, somebody, uh, April Wine just came through town. I'm like, those guys are still together playing. Why are they doing it? Because they need the money. Because they need the money. And they live the high life. Look at Axl Rose or whatever. And you'll watch the descent of the people that you think are rich and famous now as their lives crumble because they built themselves on a foundation that is faulty. That has no substance to it. And there are people that are at the pinnacle that you're like, man, that dude or that chick is just living the living the life. Mark my words. You'll watch it crumble. And then you can say, man, that old man was right. Focus on your trade. In your skill set. In your knowledge base. In your experience. That's what you need. Level it up. You guys are dealing in the cesspool of influencers, uh, and that's exactly what it is. They're, they throw you a couple of bucks so that you will read a script for them. That makes you feel good. I, I don't know how it can, but to each their own. But I'm telling you, it's finite in, in, its, in its ability to provide for your families. That's the truth. Believe it or not, or learn for yourself. Enjoy Tuesday. I'm gonna trade this life for fortune and fame. I'll even cut my hair and change my name. Cause we all just don't wanna be.